Good morning, it's day three. We're in the room, we're still getting ready. We're all wearing matching Monsters U shirts and we're all wearing our matching 2319 ears. So, we're dragging a little bit today. Yesterday, how many miles did we walk? It was like 10.75 according Okay, so like almost 11 miles we walked yesterday, so all of us are dragging a little bit. But there's Nikki. Say hi, Nikki. Hi. Science is happening. <laughs> <laughs> She's like pouring Gatorade into her water bottle with ice, and the refrigerator was so cold that it's like turning into a slushy. It looks really cool. <laughs> so anyway, we're doing science this morning. Right. Um, and we are going to go to IHOP and have breakfast, and then we are going to head into DCA and go enjoy Pixar Fest a little bit more, and then we're going to spend the evening in Disneyland. It's just really easy to park hop at this, so, oh. <clears throat> two observations that I made at Disneyland. Everyone's making out. It's weird. Yeah. I mean, I get it. Like, PDA is fine, but like, everyone, like, I have been, people are like stopped in the middle of walkways making out. I'm like, why? The other thing that I noticed is that the fireworks are really freaking loud here. And I think it's because we're in such close vicinity. Like, in Disney, I, I don't know why, but like, in Disney World, it's just not as loud. But I jumped like multiple <laughs> times when we were watching the show just because it was so, and it echoes as well. So, um, yeah. So we will see you guys at DCA. Situation guys, we've got a Chris, that's right. It hasn't changed. You didn't run out and leave and change it and so. come back. Like the Flash. Yeah. Yes. Sometimes yeah. you don't even know he's left. Right. You don't have that superpower. Just a monster. Not that I'm aware of. Um, well, you would know. Believe me. <laughs> You're like, how did I even get here? Yeah. I'm in Florida. What happened? And I would have saved a whole lot on um, yeah, well, airfare. Yeah, he might yeah. be. Yeah. Check it out, Chris. Jesse. Jesse. So nice yeah. to see him. Nice and where do you live you. when you're not at university? Kansas. Kansas. Oh my gosh! Did you run here from Kansas? See? Yeah. <laughs> We do it for you, but you look like you're on a, a monster mission, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so you can get them at information or any shop. And you, do you know about the fast passes, the max passes? Yep. Yeah. 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 That'll make your day great, go really yeah. quick. That's great. I'm so happy I got to meet yeah, you. Yeah, nice to meet you as well. Thank you. Well, yeah, I have, thank I'm you. trying to think of a pun very quickly, if I can. Uh, yes. Who Are you running for Valedictorian? Uh, uh, that's pretty good. Yeah, it's not great. Yeah. Still I'll work on it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> all day. Awesome. Thank you. So we're standing by in Soren. Um, there's it, the weather's been super kind to us today. It's like beautiful outside. The wait time changed. <laughs> What is 
my favorite is when the hot air balloons come together to make the hidden Nikki. But I have to say, I love the Fiji scent, but the scent with the elephants is starting to become a close favorite. So, if you guys know of anywhere I can buy those scents, let me know down below. <laughs> we are off to probably Radiator Springs Racers, and then we have a fast pass for Mission Breakout, and I'm already kind of nervous about it. <laughs> it should be a lot of fun. I'm sure you guys have heard this before, but if you're gonna ride Radiator Springs, ride a single rider and then you don't have to wait. So that's what we're doing. I will have the chance to make this the most glorious race of your life. The wait is 75 minutes. We were on and off the ride within 10 minutes, so it was a walk-on for us. Which was so nice. Who wants to wait for 75 minutes? That's crazy. What did you think? That was pretty fun, I liked yeah. that one. Good. It was Chris's first time. And it's also, we're going on Guardians next. And in Credit Coaster. Fun. Both of his first time. Actually, first roller coaster, right? In Credit yeah. Coaster? I yeah. I like it. Nice. Thank you. 
I admit that in the past I've been a nasty. They weren't kidding when they called me well a witch. This is the best place to stop. Oh, the kissing still. Yeah. Get it. Make out. Keep kissing, it's fine. Make out though. I bring good news. Your club shows will begin moving immediately. Okay. It's time for Guardians. It's three minutes until our fast pass and I am so nervous. This ride really scares me, but I love it. It's really, really fun. Christopher's excited. <laughs> he has no idea what he's in for. That's why he's excited. <laughs> um, I can't take you guys on the ride, but I will show you the image. Hopefully if we get a good picture from the ride, um, but it's gonna be really fun and really scary. art out of leaves.
such a good ride. I got. I think I got it all on film. Maybe we'll see. Oh my gosh. It was gosh. fun though. I liked it. Yeah. yeah. That's so good. I like when Drax comes out of the mouth of the monster. I think that's my favorite part. Yeah. But yeah, the music and soundtrack is so good too. Obviously. Like the movie. Yeah. So it's kind of yeah. It's a really fun ride. If you haven't been on it, go on it. It's great. We survived, so now we have to go find Nikki and Terry. They did not go on the ride, but they were concerned that we were gonna die, and we yeah. didn't die! That's really Maybe good. Maybe we did, we don't know. It's, well, this could be the afterlife. This might be it. it. <laughs> so we have broken off from the group once again because we are going on a roller coaster. We're gonna do a single rider on Incredicoaster because it's Friday and it's not very busy, so we're like, we better do it today because tomorrow we're probably not gonna be able to get on it, so we're taking advantage of the time that we have. Yeah, so Nikki and Terry, they're at Animation Academy, and they are also probably gonna go to Bell's Library, so we will catch up with them later, but right now we're going to Pixar Pier. Yeah. 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 I can do that. This house, Goals. I want this word right now. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I know, is he so funny? The adorable snowman is so busy all the time. We haven't been to Pixar Pier where there hasn't been a giant line. I think the snow cone line isn't that big. Right. I like the Pixar ride yesterday. Okay, here we go. We're doing single ride. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if we're gonna be on the same car or whatever, but we'll find out. It beats I can't. waiting. It beats waiting. And I can't record on the ride, so we'll see you guys after. <laughs> Okay, we feel a little sick. Yeah, I just died. <laughs> it was, it made me more sick than usual. I don't know why. Really sharp but terms. It was very sharp terms. But really was, jerky. Yeah, it was really cool though. Jack Jack was really cool yeah. and seeing all the Incredibles characters now, that was really cool. And they had one of the um, covers was like completely glittered. It was really neat. Mm -hmm. So go on it if your stomach can handle it. I'm not sure I'll go on it again. Don't do it if you've eaten recently. You'll yes, die. that would be a very bad thing. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna go get churros now, y'all. Yeah. Did not notice this on the back of the Pixar Pier sign. It says, adventure is out there. It sure is. So World of Color is down right now because their system is broken and look at all the jets. I'm gonna try to zoom in so you guys can see but they have a hut over one of them, or like one of the areas that they're working on. That is so wild. Look at all the mechanics. That's crazy. I really hope they get it working again. I'm sure they will. I heard that there was a catastrophic failure on one of the podcasts I was listening to. I guess one of the main pressurization pipes busted. And so that may be what they're working on right there. What do you do when you get sick on a roller coaster or feel sick? You eat a churro. That yeah, seems like the right thing. <laughs> I got the ants on a log churro. It is a, sorry, I'm chewing the waffle. Donut churro with icing and like chocolate crunchy cereal. It's actually really, really good. I'm impressed. Also, churros in Disneyland are so much better than Disney World. So much better. <laughs> we just met Black Panther and I screwed up the handshake or whatever you call it. Uh, <laughs> he's like, other way. I'm like, oh God, I'm awful at this. And I was trying to compliment the soldier ladies on their new outfits. Um, it also didn't go over well, so I've decided no longer to meet comic book characters. I'm just gonna hang up my hand, just not do it. <laughs> um, but we are done at DCA for today. We're gonna head over to Disneyland for Fantasmic tonight. It's gonna be so much fun. But um, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe. And I will see you guys real soon. TTFN, bye. I hope you enjoyed another day of Vlogmas. Today's story is called Present Problems, and it features characters from the story Beauty and the Beast. It was a week before Christmas. Belle had almost finished gathering presents for her new friends in Beast Castle, 
but she had a problem. She couldn't decide what to get the beast. She wanted to give him the perfect gift, but what? Belle went to the kitchen for Mrs. Potts' advice. She told Mrs. Potts about her problem, but the teapot was busy preparing for the large Christmas feast. I think he needs a new brush, Mrs. Potts suggested and then rushed off. Belle wasn't so sure. A brush might be practical, but it wasn't very special. Maybe Cogsworth would have a better idea. Belle raced up to the Great Hall where Cogsworth was busy hanging holiday decorations. He wasn't much help either. I think that repairs to the stable are in order, Cogsworth suggested. He's neglected them for far too long. I'll organize it right away. You're right, Cogsworth, Belle said. The stables could use some work, but it's far too cold to do that in winter. And I'm not sure that would exactly be a gift to the beast, but it sounds like a great idea for spring. Yes, 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 of course. More time for planning, Cogsworth said, and he hustled away to start making plans. Finally, Belle went to ask Lumiere's advice. The candelabrum was busy practicing a new song for Christmas Day. Lumiere, I need a present for Beast. Do you have any ideas, Belle said? I think you should paint him a grand portrait. We need more portraits in the castle, Lumiere said. But Belle wasn't very good at painting, and she didn't think the Beast would sit still for long enough for her to paint a picture of him. Belle was discouraged. She went to the library to think. The Beast had given her the room as a gift. She loved exploring it, looking for new stories to read. Belle climbed the ladder to a shelf at the very, very top of the library. She had never been up there before, and the books were covered with dust and cobwebs. Belle wiped away the grime from the spines of the books and began to smile. She knew just what to give the beast. On Christmas morning, Belle handed the beast a small present. Merry Christmas, she said, I hope you like it. The beast gently opened the gift to reveal a book. It's my favorite book, Belle told him. I found it hidden away and forgotten in the library and I thought you might enjoy it. The beast smiled and held the book close. Then he handed it back to Belle. Will you read it to me, he asked. Belle smiled and the two settled down in front of the cozy fireplace in the library where they spent the rest of the day reading the book. The end, Belle said, finishing the story. The beast smiled. Belle, this was the best Christmas present I ever received. Will you read it to me again? I hope you enjoyed today's story and I will see you all tomorrow. TTFN, bye. Turnstiles, think my butt. <laughs>